here today to show you how to put the oil pan and the pickup on the Honda JV6 engine which is going to the Mazda Miata. And what we have here, these are the tools we're going to need, which is the oil pan. It's all aluminum, one eighth of an inch thick aluminum. And you'll see the way this is shaped. It is shaped to go around the cross member on the Mazda Miata and have additional oil volume. We have a torque wrench. We have studs. These studs are going to go into the rear of, a, of the engine because we don't have access to be able to get bolts through there. We're going to put studs in there with nuts. We have a torque wrench and then this is to measure the height of the studs so that we don't have them too high or too low. And this is just a, this is just a screwdriver just to simulate torquing them down. And then we have the flange nuts which are serrated to hold it down. And now we're going to go over to the engine and we're going to start the procedure. And we're going to do it by starting with the oil pickup. The first thing you have to do before you put the pickup on is make sure you put make sure you put the O-ring in. That's the seal between the between the block and the pickup on the oil pump. Now we get the, the studs and the bolts that have to go in there. And we're gonna Now we're gonna run these in We're just gonna run them in with the with the drill. But when you do it, you'll be doing it with the torque wrench, so you torque torque it to the right specifications, which is Inch pounds. One hundred five inch pounds on these six millimeter bolts. They have eight point seven foot pounds, but you're better off if you have a inch pound torque wrench because it's easier. In order to get 8.7 pounds in order to get 8.7 pounds is really hard to do on a big torque wrench. Now the next thing we're going to do, make sure, now the next thing you're going to do is put these studs in. Now the studs are going to go in one and nine sixteenths above the face of the block. That allows enough clearance in the back in order to get the nut on and be able to get your wrench on it. Now the next, now the next step, you're gonna to have to put your Honda bond all around here. In the, in the manual, it tells you where to put the Honda bond we're talking about the Honda Bond. Make sure you look up in the manual. We have a the whole thing. We'll be sending you everything, all the information with it when you buy the pan and everything with it. You put the Honda Bond on there, and you can't. You have to do it within four minutes. The Honda Bond starts to set up within four minutes. I mean, anybody who's working on Honda engines will know that. Now you'll see here we're lining up the studs in the back here. See, they're lined up now. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put four bolts on here. So I just wanna put them on just to secure the pan in place while I'm working on it. 
you'll be putting all the bolts in as you go along. There's a certain sequence that you have to use so that it, so it lays flat. Okay, I'm just going to snug these up. Okay, now, now we're going to, I'll move this, I'll move the engine stand over a little bit. So we get a better view. I'm putting the, putting nuts on. What I found, what I found is if I put a little magnet on this small screwdriver, I'm able to be able to get these nuts on the back of the pan easier. Over here is where the studs are. That's how you get them on. They're little, it's not tricky, it's just, you know, it's easy to do. It's just, just a matter of, of getting it up underneath there. The top of the, the the top of the studs are tapered, so you can get them on there easily. We'll say easily, so we're going to try easily now. Okay. Well, maybe if you don't have arthritis, you could do it easier. Okay. Okay, basically that's what we're going to be doing, putting the studs on there. Then we have a, on, a, on the side here also, there's, there's four places where we have studs. This magnet comes in handy because that way it'll hold the nut while you're putting it over the stud. Okay, so now I'll leave the other one off for a moment. So now what we're going to do is you're going to use your wrench. You have, you, have com you have complete access. The wrench fits on top of it. You're going to snug that up. Obviously, you won't be able to judge, judge your torque, but if you, if you use this wrench, after you talk this up, we got the same amount, 105 inch pounds. So we'll make this 105 inch pounds. Okay, now you have 105 inch pounds. Now you get your You get a feel with your wrench of what it would be. So that's how you'll be able to feel your 105 inch pounds. And like I said, as I said before, this configuration is the same as the subframe which comes around and we did that because we need additional oil supply because we made the pan the pan shallow enough so it doesn't hit the ground before the cross member does so that should take care of what you need to know about putting the rear sump oil pan on you can use this for any installation it doesn't have to be a miata 
but for a front to rear installation if you're using a JV6 engine. And that should conclude this video. Thank you for watching.